Alex, you got a second? Actually, Harvey, I'm running a two-minute drill right now, so no. Well, I need you to take a look at this anyway. What is it? Simon Lowe wants Thomas Kessler to be their anchor in 20 new malls. Well, I'm sorry to say, that's my two-minute drill, and I'm on the one-yard line with another mall owner. So? So, I haven't known Thomas long, but I know he doesn't like to deal in bad faith. This isn't bad faith, Alex. He didn't even know this deal was coming, and he sure as hell didn't know how good it would be. Good or not, it's conflict. Take a look at the offer, then tell me he won't waive conflict. Damn. A 50% haircut on a rent for 10% of outgrowths? These guys are serious. Pretty sure it beats whatever you got cooking. How'd you come up with this? I didn't. My client did. I don't believe it. I've been busting my ass for months on this, and your client comes to you with this. Shit just falls out of the sky for you, doesn't it? You don't want to know what high school is like for me. No, sir, I do not. All right, I'll take it to him. But we better get them in the room fast, because Thomas isn't going to pull out of his deal without looking Simon in the eye and seeing he's for real. Alex, this is Simon Lowe. And of course, Simon? Thomas Kessler. I've been a fan of your work for a long time. I recognize that table. I hope to have more just like that anchoring my malls. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Look, I won't lie, I'm uh, intrigued by your offer. But you're asking me to back out of a deal at the 11th hour. And I need to know that I'm not just a backup plan. Well, then I won't lie to you either. If the other deal hadn't run into trouble, you wouldn't be here. But it did. And there were 15 companies I could have gone to that weren't about to close a deal with someone else. But I chose you, because I believe in you. Thomas, I don't take your relationship with our firm lightly. So believe me when I tell you this is a good offer and I stand behind it. Then, gentlemen, I'd say we have ourselves a deal with one stipulation. When my client commits, he commits. So we need to know you're going to follow through on this. Well, Alex, we had a feeling you'd say something like that, which is why we're prepared to issue a press release tomorrow morning announcing the whole thing. You would do that even before we ironed out the fine print. Well, that stuff's for the lawyers. Huh? We're businessmen. And if you're who I think you are, a handshake is enough for me. I gotta say, that was an impressive display last night. Damn straight it was. Listen, did you get the paperwork I sent over this morning? Yeah, I did. I hate to waste everyone's time, but I won't be signing it. Why the hell not? Well, it turns out restoration came back to the table. When exactly did that happen? About an hour ago. Simon, I'm only going to ask you this once. Was this whole thing designed to get restoration back to the table? It was designed to either get them back or to take a chance on an up-and-comer. Either way, my malls don't sit empty. Simon, you said you were doing this deal. You used me to help sell them on it. Then you shook his hand and lied to his face. I said what I needed to to make a deal happen, and I don't need to justify myself to my own goddamn lawyer. Now, this is happening, and I need restoration to think that the Thomas deal is still on. I know how negotiations work, Simon. And I know how privilege works. So if you tell anyone about this, be it Thomas or Alex or the Queen of England, we'll be done. Harvey, what's the story? You guys signed that deal yet because... We can talk about the deal in a minute, Alex. I need to ask you something. It's hypothetical, but what's going on? You got two clients, both in a deal together. One bills seven figures, the other five. They both waive conflict. Then you find out the big one was planning to screw over the little one. Son of a bitch. This isn't hypothetical. This is Simon Lowe and Thomas Kessler. Answer the question. You know the answer. You stick with the bigger fish. But it doesn't matter who's a bigger client because you can't break privilege anyway. I know. Then why the hell are you telling me? I'm telling you because I don't like it. And we may not have to tell Thomas, but that doesn't mean we can't do something about it. And since I'm not supposed to know about this and you're not supposed to undercut your client, what are we supposed to do? Look, Simon will stick with Thomas if restoration falls out again. So we're gonna make that happen. Are you crazy? In what world does that not get back to Simon? The world where I can get someone to do it for us. Well, if you're gonna do that, what do you need me for? The backup plan, which is to get Thomas's original landlord to beat Simon's deal. They won't even take my call. Alex, one of us is gonna get this thing done, but we don't have much time. So are you in or are you out?